感じるぞ I'm more up.、Uh, hey, hey. Deadly Toast here. Back with more Persona 5 Royal. Um. Sorry, I didn't stream yesterday. I accidentally fell asleep. After I took a walk. <laughs> Because I was playing Pokemon Go. Um. Yeah. Normal walking tires me out. So, um. Here I am. Uh. What do I have to, Can I make something or is Morgana tell me to sleep? You look jazzy. What if you hurt yourself? You should just stop for today. Guess I'm sleeping. Actually, there's something I want to talk to you about. Never mind. You should probably get some rest. Don't worry, it's nothing important. With you, it's not important. Seriously, you just got back. Why are you studying? <laughs> Welcome back, your principal's dead. Who's gonna be the new principal? ちょっと分かんない。生徒とあまり接点ない人だから。そう。Sorry, I bothered you by telling you your principal's dead. Oh my gosh! Neil, thanks for the 10 month sub! Woo! I got an emote. Whoa! Whoa! I got a cute emote! Also, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Hope you've been well! Oh man, tomorrow's already Friday. Tomorrow's payday! Woo! Oh my gosh, Dale! Thanks so much for the 100 bits! You're too kind! It's our first time at school in a while. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Over your jet lag? Not yet. Jet lag is hard, man. A little sluggish, huh? Well, same here, dude. Never mind that, though. Did you know about this? The Phantom Thieves are popular now. I was surprised when we got back to Japan. People are actually paying attention to who we're gonna target next. Ain't that amazing? Getting really psyched. This is where we work hard. Let's do something big again and surprise the world. <gasps> Kasumi! Hey, Lord, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Final push and I was. Yes! Yes! Go work on school! Good luck! Have fun at your last day of school tomorrow! Oh, those are such cute emotes! Also, thanks for dropping in, dude. Hey, Go Tanks, how you doing? Thanks for joining! How you doing today? Whoops. I'm listening to both this and a podcast while I draw. This is chaos. <laughs> What are you paying attention to? Also, hey, Rev, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Now I'm going to confuse you more. Whoa, you can't understand me over the podcast. No, I'm sorry. That's a jerk thing to do. <laughs> oh, morning. You're back today, too, huh? Yes, it's good to see you both. Um, may I join you two on the way to school? I want to talk a bit more about the trip, and I want to hear all of your stories from Hawaii. You got it. Should I start with all the heroic stuff me and this dude did for the people in Hawaii? Hi. Um, yes, that sounds great. What did we do for the people of Hawaii? What pack house are you listening to, Rev? I find that I can't really listen to podcasts or audiobooks. I need something visual to help tie me to the audio. Otherwise, I just totally lose focus and I stop paying attention. 
We do doing well. Hey, Ultimate, how you doing? Thanks for joining. I am doing well today. How are you doing? We're at in the game. It's been a while since I tuned in. I just came back from Hawaii. So the next dungeon I have to do is Okumura. Space Station. He did not care about us, man. Stop spouting these lies. Don't believe Ondor's lies. These kids are heartless. They're just like, well, principal's dead. Who cares? No one's listening to you, dude. About to get the best arc? I mean, I can't wait to see all the royal stuff, but oh. Forgot the game sent dynamic themes to email. My four codes are sitting in there for a month. <gasps> wait, they sent dynamic themes? Are you talking about Persona 5 Royal? Because I. What? Oh no, did I miss that? I got the. um... I got that dynamic Tifa theme. Well, we had nothing against him. We don't kill. I'm not a murderer. Uh, I'm not lying to you. I am a good boy. Judgment, rank up! Yeah! I only got the P5 Royal thing for beating the game. You get them throughout the game, I think, like, one should be sent after Futaba's Palace? Really? Is this, like, in real life email, or is this, like, in the game email and then you can download it? Because I haven't. Is there a time limit? Like, did I have to be Persona 5 Royal within like three months? To get those themes? Your real life PlayStation email? What? Real life email, I don't know if there's a time limit. Aww, I, I should check my email. I don't think I got any email from PlayStation other than... Like, DLC stuff that I got off the PlayStation store. I was good for two years? Okay, cool. One for beating Futaba's Palace and one for beating the game. Well, I, I beat Futaba's Palace. Let me check my email. What's my... Oh, which one is it? Is it this one or... Oh, Remake demo... Uh, legacy DLC bundle. D Dynamic Tifa theme. Timbonia. Zillia. Yeah, I didn't get any email. What the heck? I'm definitely playing online. Do I have to sync my trophies? Hold up. 
Sorry. Yeah, I'm definitely online. Yeah, committed to the power. I got nothing. Hmm. Okay, now we continue. Okay, now we continue. Uh, maybe I'll get it once I beat the game. おい、おい、本題に戻れよ。新島のデータの話だろ。おい、何頼む。なぜ俺なんだ。ああ、she's <laughs> Also, why didn't Futaba just read this out? But anyway, マジかよ。言われてみれば、ここ何年かだよね。ビッグバンバーガーが有名になったの。I I don't care. Let me get on with the gameplay, please. No more talking. Check the day I bought the game. Email receipt. The next day I beat the game, only got the one theme bundle of custom. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait did you guys get the digital version because i have the physical so maybe that's why i don't get it or did i have to like input some kind of ps code play playstation store code <laughs> Nope, there's nothing else inside the case. Man, I like steel books. The one thing is, I can't flip the covers. So, like, on one side, you get this cool thing. And then on the inside, you see, like, close ups of their faces. Ugh. And it's cute. I really like oh. this drawing. Oh, Yusuke looks so handsome. He hasn't been picking up any girls! We can't talk to anyone about being phantom thieves! Morgana, what the hell are you talking about? There are four bundle of theme for every member plus twins. My least favorite part of the game, right now. Oh no, don't go. Ah. Tell Morgana to stop too! What's gotten into you, for real? You've been acting weird.
Now I'm gonna look it up. Do I do physical uh, persona? Five royal dynamic themes. Mm. Okay. PlayStation is starting to send out yet another wave of Persona 5 Royal Bundle codes. These codes give you access to the number of avatars and dynamic themes. These codes are based on your progress in Persona 5 Royal. You get the third bundle for beating the game's final palace, although it's unclear whether this email is referring to the final palace of the first game or the final final palace that's only available in Royal. What I haven't gotten... You need to complete the fourth palace for the second bundle. <gasps> Look at the queen one. Oh. Okay, so if you're in the UK, you got a code, but what about the US? <gasps> Look at this, Shuji. Oh, my word. But how do you get this? How do you get this? Is this for the digital? No, no one answered this. No mention of time limit in the emails. It won't be limited to digital versions, probably based on trophy data. You might not have a code yet because of your region. But ultimate, you're in Canada, right? So I'm on the same hemisphere as you. Mm -hmm. and Canada only got the code for final. I'm in the US and I didn't get any codes. Heck? Get rid of the cat. Mm. Uh, let's see. This thing from Atlas says. Persona 5 Royal PlayStation 4 Dynamic theme, but that's just probably the general one. Yeah, weird. No, I haven't, and I don't care. I don't care about Morgana. Hopefully one day they'll, they'll make all the um, themes available. I should read this. Morgana's still not back. Huh? He hasn't come home yet? The food's still in his bowl. You think he really just took off like that? He's a cat, so it's possible he got into an accident. Does he really seem to be the type who will go off and die on us like that, though? It's just been one day. Y'all are worrying too much. He'll probably just stop doing his own stuff. I mean, he used to live alone, remember? Just don't worry about it. I'm sure he'll come back if something happens. <laughs> I don't think they're being too cold. I think Morgana needed to cool his head down and leave, but... I don't buy that our principal's death was an accident. I think the Phantom Thieves killed him. I think the Phantom Thieves murdered him? Why? Think about Kamoshida's victims. The principal's just as guilty for keeping quiet about it all. People who take advantage of others for their own personal gain need to disappear. In fact, we need a scumbag cleansing to purify the world. I mean, I agree with that too, but it's like, what system, like, how would you rate who is a scumbag and who isn't? I'm curious what your opinions on the P5's design and the game's announced for it. P5's design? Honestly, it's goofy, but I, I'm just like, eh, whatever. Because... I mean, I don't really look at my game systems that much. Unless it's a handheld console one, because then, like, it's in my face. I'm clearly looking at it. For the... 
for a PlayStation like three, four, five. I'm just like, you're just sitting on a shelf. It's fine. I will say the little like flaps, collars coming off the top. I'm just like, is that supposed to help with airflow or were you trying to look cool? It's, it's gonna be like annoying to clean and dust because it's just another extra surface area you have to get into. Um, I'm definitely gonna get the version with the CD slot in it though, because I love getting physical versions of games. The games announced for it... Um, I was really interested about Returnal. I think that has a really interesting story. Um, there's, I'm glad that they're showcasing a lot of indie games, although I don't know if I would play a lot of them. Unless they're like puzzle games. And honestly, I feel like a lot of the graphics were not that big of a bump because like from PS2 to PS3, you're just like, holy crap, the graphics got so much better. From PS3 to PS4, it's like, oh damn, they've got even more pretty. But from PS4 to PS5, I'm just like, basically the same. Maybe because I was looking at it through my computer screen, maybe if you see it on like a 4K TV and play it yourself, it'll look even better, but I'm just like, Eh, I don't really need this. I probably won't get a PS5 when it um when it comes out right away. I usually wait like a year or two before I get it. Uh, yeah. Was designed that way for airflow and cooling the system, so don't sound like a jet. Okay, so that was purposeful then. Okay, yeah, then I'm I'm good with it. Whatever. I'm just gonna have to make sure I dust it well. I will say my favorite looking system is the PS4, but my favorite system out of like the big chunky P PlayStations is PS2. Yesterday, my wife threw out one of my books without asking me. He opened it away, and it was even signed. With his logical management skills, he revived his company that was on the verge of bankruptcy. He then started Big Bang Burger, a bold and creative venture. Okumura's words are a philosophy on life itself. How could she sell that to a second-hand shop? But in times like these, getting one's mind to switch gears is key. Wouldn't you agree, Toast-kun? A second-hand shop is mostly meant for a sale of goods and supporting charitable causes, but... What does a pawn shop offer that a second-hand shop doesn't? Um... Isn't it money loads for collateral? It is! <laughs> Correct. Thrift stores are comparatively less focused on money management, but larger businesses could donate unused stock to them and use them as a tax write-off that way. It takes incredible business acumen to figure out how to be both profitable and charitable at once. Blah 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 blah. Whoa, even Mishima's looking at me. Whoa. Has he always looked at me and I just never noticed? No, now he's looking away. I just remembered, there are many rumors that President Okumura may be getting into politics. It is true that the current administration is incompetent in a number of ways. I would love a chance to have a charismatic man like him leading the country. If this is talking about Morgana, I don't care. Hey, come straight home once school's over, okay? Okay. Yay! Let's wait together in case Mona comes home. Oh. Gosh, I'm gonna not have time to do anything? I wonder what's up with Morgana, though. He should just hurry and come back. One thing I am interested about that they showed in the Persona 5 um, thing the headphones. Like, is it that much better than other headphones? Is it only specific use for Persona 5? Oh, not Persona 5. PlayStation 5? The little remote seems kinda, kinda handy too. Because if you're watching DVDs and whatnot, sometimes I get confused on my controller, like which button does what. Like, which one goes to the menu screen of the DVD. So having a remote control would be nice, but I guess depending on how much it is. Hey, is that Okumura? Well, no, duh. Hmm. 
侵入者の形跡がなかったことから犯人の特定は困難が予想されます You think Mona charged in there by himself? It's possible. Yeah, he may not seem like it sometimes, but he's a totally capable cat when he wants to be. Either way, let's go to Okumura's palace tomorrow. I'll contact everyone. I was a little taken aback at first to what you said, but then again, the big jump right now is just in performance. And the addition of ray tracing rather than polygons do have to bit, though I wish Sony would make their consoles a little more friendly to my setup. I only have so much space near my TV, and I wish Sony would let you stack more consoles. Yeah, you're not supposed to stack. Don't stack it. Mm, okay, so if the jump is in performance, and do people really pay attention to ray tracing? <laughs> is it really that big of a deal? I guess I'm more interested in like if the game is good. Like, does it have a good storyline? Does it have good gameplay? Like, graphics, if it has good graphics, cool. It's not a deal breaker for me. I know some people that will not play the original Final Fantasy VII because they're just like, oh, it's so ugly. I can't deal with it. And I'm like, hmm. Don't let looks get in the way of a great game, but okay, whatever, you're lost. Personally, I may go with digital edition if price leak is true. Digital edition, maybe. 399 US is 560 CD. <gasps> Holy crap, that's expensive. But that makes sense. Also, why, where are people getting the price? They're saying that PS5 is $800. I'm like, they wouldn't make a gaming console $800. That's ridiculous. Uh, Morgana went to Okumura's palace. Is that true, Futaba? He did say he'd go alone. Does that mean he's in danger? Chances of that are highly likely. Yeah, we should all go in after him. Palace is more likely at their corporate headquarters. I'll look into it a little more. Alright, let's do it. We gotta look into those mental shutdown things too. I prefer a little more caution, but this is an emergency. We'll go tomorrow. Don't forget everyone. Go out. Damn it, I have to sleep. Gosh, I'm forced to sleep. I should get to bed. Sleep. Amazon France may have leaked it. Ooh. Whoa, 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 Phantom Thieves, cool! Whoops, sorry, I'm skipping all this because it's just like, hey, get the target. Do I believe the Phantom Thieves? Did they really do the killing? Oh my gosh, like, I don't care. Also target. Yeah, because like they have to get the product pages ready before it goes live, and I guess people are just continuously hunting. Like, hey, did they put up the product page yet? Hey Kirby, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Uh, I don't know. Probably won't pick up a PS5 until a big game comes out like Persona 7. Let's be real, 6 will probably still be on PS4. Ha 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 ha! Oh, these aren't my PJs. This is just a Pikachu shirt. Yeah, it's got like the old Pikachu sprites from Pokemon Yellow. Yeah, I'm not gonna pick up a PS5 unless a game I like comes out for it, so. Which is usually a while. I don't think Tales of Arise will be on PS5. I think that'll be for PS4. And let's see. Ah, frack you, Akichi! Snooping in on us. And then, let's see, Final Fantasy games. I don't know if they'll keep making the remake, 7 remake on 
PS4, or if they'll move it to PS5. What other games am I into? Maybe Vanillaware might do a PS5 thing? I don't know. Snooping as usual, I see. Freaking Akachi following him around everywhere. Stop it. One might be in here somewhere, yeah? Come on, we gotta get looking for him. Okay, first things first. Kutaba. Uh. This music is so cool, though. Okay, winter clothes, tracksuit, swimsuit, loungewear. Okay, I gotta see Futaba in all of her outfits. Um, where's the one that increases experience? Yeah. Okay, so this is her Gekko Khan. Nice, cute. Hi, highs. Um. Yeah, so got me. Green sneakers, bright green sneakers, but still cute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And green glasses, cool, cool, cool. Oops, not skill. Uh, Saint Hermelin. <laughs> okay, I guess she keeps the bright green shoes everywhere. But that is cute. It's the Futaba fashion show with seven sisters. Oh, this is wow. So every school outfit she has high high socks and bright green sneakers. Toby's overalls. Toby! Catherine! Remake most likely next gen. That makes sense. Jelly toast, bluey toast. Why why bluey? I know I'm silly, it's because I want to do a fashion show. Karukozaka! Ooh. Since you mentioned Pokemon, what's your favorite generation? In terms of story... Or Pokemon that are included in that generation? Maid! Whoa! I forgot it's that bright red one. Uh, okay. Uh, um, dancewear, shadow ops, samurai garb. Yeah, that's so cute. Oh, it's a scarf that's bright green now. Hmm. Oh, Oran high. Yes! Ooh, this one doesn't- oh yeah, you can't have thigh highs in the 80s. You gotta have all your legs covered. Okay. Hmm, what else? Starlight. Starlight? Beneath the stars? What? Oh, that's dancing. Then what the heck was the other dancing? What was dance wear? Midnight Dancer outfit? Why does she have two different dancing outfits? Do we all have two different dancing outfits? Huh. Uh, Starlight Ultramarine. That's, yeah. Featherman! Ah! She's a little parakeet! Or a little parrot! Cool, but since it was summertime, I gotta equip everyone in... Uh, do one for each. Okay, so favorite story. Favorite story. Oops. Well, Sun and Moon sucked. Like, sucked. Um. Well, Sword and Shield? It's. Didn't really have much in it. Uh. Non-green shoes with Toby gold, <laughs> gold silver for me Pokemon. Um, I mean, look at all the generations. I forgot. All, I forgot them all. Let's see, Pokemon generations. Uh, 
in order. Um... Hey, Web, how you doing? Thanks for joining. How are you, friend? I'm jealous because that's Joker bod. He's got a nice bod, man. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, Sword and Shield story, not that great. Um, Sun and Moon sucked. Uh, X and Y. I X and Y wasn't bad. Uh, but the bad guys in that one was kind of boring. Black and white? Yeah. Diamond and pearl? Diamond and pearl? Gold and silver, red and blue. Um, I'd say my favorite story is either... Gold and silver, diamond and pearl, or red and blue? Maybe red and blue? Just because... You, you're a kid and you took down a whole organization by yourself. Uh... Thirsty Toast plays. <laughs> Look at all my pretty children in their swimsuits. <laughs> um... Mechanics-wise... Sun and Moon, they really, um... Made everything better in terms of, like, switching out Pokémon when you catch them the egg storage thing. But they took out... That's when they started taking out, oh, you need HMs to, like, progress in the story. It's just like, hey, here's just random Pokemon that'll have these different skills. Which made it easier, but also kind of just like, eh. Characters have two different dancing outfits as they made a dancing outfit DLC before P5D came out with different designs. Like, oh, is that why? Gold and Silver was second gen with first gen content after an Ashes final boss of that. Oh yeah! Okay, yeah. And gold, gold and silver was the best. Um, in terms of all the Pokemon... Mm, I mean, Wooper was in gold and silver. But Cleffa is in a later... Cleffa's in, um... Third gen? But most of my favorite Pokemon are in first gen. So yeah, I'd say the first three generations are my favorite, and then they just start to get weird or weak. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? Let's see here. Looks like there's a lever for the elevator for me. Yes. And it should be working now. For real? You're amazing, Oracle. And <laughs> that was nothing. It's certainly reassuring to have you with us. Anyway, let's try using the elevator. I should save, shoot. Yeah, my favorite Pokemon is Dragonair. And then second favorite is Wartortle. Third is Wooper. Fourth is Vaporeon. I lied. Third is Wooper, fourth is Cleffa, fifth is Vaporeon. All that noise. And then I like Galarian Farfetched, and Surfetched, and Galarian Weezing, and Wooloo. What is that? And Lycanroc. And what's the stage before Lycanroc? Rock Ruff. Hey, Cell, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Don't tell me! They're the workers. How interesting that people all over the world are being taken advantage of by the higher-ups and treated like trash! Look! 
Peppa really cares about Morgana. I don't care about him. Yuji, why are you upset? I wonder what Mona's doing in here. We need to find him fast. Big Bang! Woo! Every time I hear Big Bang, though, I think about the Korean pop group. Not like the Big Bang that happened in space. Hold on a second, Joker! I want to fight Mona. Me too. Oh, that reminds me. I should do like the the battles in the Velvet Room, the extra trials. The door has closed. Is there any way by which we can open it? Performing biometric authentication. What does it mean by that? Authorization error. Only registered personnel may proceed past this point. The security system might be a bit of a problem. Kick him in his cat teeth. Oh no! Not, not kick him, but you know, just have a persona fight and beat him up. I don't want to like physically hit him. That's a bit too harsh. でも、モナだって先へ進めてないはずよね。ならパレスにいるとしても、ここより手前にいるはず。お待ちなさい、あなたたち。Ah, uh, it's sad we didn't really- No, we do see her- Never mind. Forget what I said. I didn't say anything. Hey, girls can kill people too. That's sexist. When's my next showtime? It's Haru! Fancy, cute, beautiful. Beauty thief. Pull out Exodia on his kick cap butt. <laughs> <laughs> My deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba. But it has this! The unstoppable Exodia! But Exodia, that's not possible. Kaito,と申します。自分で言っちゃったよ。緊張感にかけるな。Damn, but she can do flips. Didn't Morgana say all of this? <laughs> One who lists her drills, I don't think about it. One who helps the weak. That's how we started off, anyway. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Just say you want to get back together with them. Damn, why are you making everything so freaking difficult, Mona? <laughs> あなたは誰が悪くて頭が悪い。はあ。あなたは。えっと。何でしたっけ。ビバイワイフ。わざわざこんなこと言うために、ここに。なんつうか。あいつ。安全なやつっぽくね。お宝は。私たちが。<笑
んじゃねえよ逃げんだよ後でいつもの場所に Or we could just kill them right now. I'm strong enough. Why won't you let me fight them? Holy crap! Also, if Mona was so freaking confident about taking the treasure, why couldn't he just beat them up too? Just... Gosh, I hate this. I hate this part of the game. This is the worst. This is worse than December in Persona 3. Gosh. At least in December, people weren't annoying. If only Haru outfit was red, she'd be looking like an old school red mage. Oh, I love red mage outfits. They're the best. When I played Final Fantasy XI years ago, I was a red mage. But... It was so hard to level Red Mage because you really couldn't solo and people didn't want to party with you unless you were like high level Red Mage that got more um, high level um, buffing spells. I'm just like, oh, well, this sucks. Uh, did Mona betray us? I don't think so. He's just throwing a fit. Yeah, so I play Final Fantasy XIV now, so I was thinking of maybe starting Red Mage, but I need to get used to the Red Mage system. Also, I'm not really good at using casters. I just like doing physical range DPS. That's why I'm a bard. Because I still get to do some of the buffing, I get to play songs. I attack from far away. It's great. Let me play how I want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at least in Final Fantasy XIV, I can solo because your chocobo also helps fight and can heal you, but eleven, it was impossible to solo. So I was just like, well, I'm quitting. Oh, Yusuke, you wants to pair up with Futaba. Ooh. Don't tell me to sleep. Things are really starting to heat up online. Don't care! Who exactly is the beauty feed? I should go to bed early so I can investigate tomorrow. Fracking. Actually, let me check the thieves then to see if the photos are available net two by now. Yes! Stuff was added to the gallery. Photos! Yes! Finally! Thank you! Oh my word. Oh my word. I love this. <sighs> you got, you know, ladies' butts off in the distance, the beach, Joker looking so cool, on flirting with Yuji. Ugh, so cute. I love this picture. This one. <laughs> I didn't realize Bishima was in the back. Huh. Oh, Ryuji looks so cute and playful. Too bad you can't see Yusuke's face. Ugh. So cute. I love these. Now where are they on the wall? It better be freaking gigantic. Yes! It's the biggest one! <laughs> and then right underneath that is the beach one. I love this. Okay. I'm so glad I finally was able to buy those stupid photos. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm hot. What's my AC? Let me save since I bought the photos. Actually, wait. I need to take a short bathroom break, so... Be right back. Sorry about this.
Never mind, can't go. It's occupied. Oh well. Go to bed. Not this masquerade. Don't care, don't care. Fan site Okubuda. Oh my gosh. Man, Persona really has some super redundant dialogue. Would Sorlin normally call themselves Beauty Thief? I bet Morgana made her say it. It's still a weird thing to say, even if he told her to. Plus, they lied about her being able to use a Persona, too. We don't know if that is indeed a lie, though. We didn't see her use one. No matter how you slice it, she's totally just an amateur. Uh, don't let your guard down. I don't think we gotta worry about that, dude. We can't take her lightly. She has more gun on her side, remember? I agree with Futaba. At the very least, they're one step ahead of us. True, an amateur would not have been able to open that gate. They clearly figured out something we don't know. We'll need to uncover the identity of that masked girl. Wow, so hard to uncover her identity. I wonder who else in Japan has nice, floofy hair like that. Ooh, whoa, whoa, push the wrong button. Ah, oh, man, this girl's hot. Oh, but she's younger than me. Yuji, why would that matter? Also, like, don't they recognize the voices of people? Like, you couldn't recognize her voice? Uh, I'm sure we can find her because we know who she is. What? Whoops, sorry, I dropped something. Ugh. 11 was Square's first try at MMO, so understand. Yeah, they really wanted um people to get into the community aspect of it. But even like Final Fantasy XIV when it first came out, there were like a ton of problems. Like, I think one flower pot? Like, creating a flower pot shouldn't con have that many vertices and like different like polygon faces, but apparently it had like 11,000 vertices on it and like, it does- it's a random flower pot, it doesn't have to be that detailed. So it was taking up a lot of space and just, this girl, Taru Okumura. Uh, are you okay? Makono recognized him ASAP. Uh, I... I don't like gardening. I've never done it. No, I hate gardening. I don't really like dealing with plants. I wonder where we heard her voice from before. あ、自己紹介してないね。私奥村春さんよね。奥村フーズ代表取締役社長。奥村国和の一人娘。どうしてその父親のパレスにいたのか。ハハハ、バコト。<笑><笑> So direct, so smart. And Haru's not even denying it, she's just like, Oh yeah, you're right, it was me. The biker gang! その話はやめておきましょう。なんで回答に？お父様は経営者として評価されてるけど。<laughs> Holy crap, I didn't realize this section of the game would be this boring. I really haven't done any gameplay at all. I've only saved, bought some photos, ran around a little bit, changed everyone into their swimsuits. Holy crap! <laughs> 
Don't know really why it is like this, but once you get past the section, I like it. Yeah, you just have to... There really needs to be more of a balance between gameplay heavy sections and cutscene heavy sections. Mm. It's like we might as well just be watching a movie. Don't let me run around at night in my room if I can't go out and you're just gonna make me sleep. Just make it all a cutscene then. Why are you trying to like trick me into thinking I could go out and hang out with people? Or even read in my room. Gosh. Oh, I should sleep early so I can find my cat. That's so stupid. I don't sleep early to go to palaces. Which are more draining because I'm actually running around. But no, to find a cat. It's like, oh, save up all of your strength. You need it. And I hate this. うん。協力を取り付けるのは無理そうね。どうするかみんなと相談しよう。モルガナも仏ないし。うん。Also, Okamura's such a jerk to his daughter. Like, she's your freaking child. Why do you treat her so coldly? Don't understand. Don't yeah, Dad, I don't trust you, because you're a bad man. Hi. いや、私にとって必要不可欠なコネクションになる男だ。精一杯努めるのが精一杯。それでいい。それでこそ奥村の娘だよ。うん。ばばばばばばばば。Oh my gosh, you think the fantasies are gonna do it? Oh my gosh, run after Okamura. Oh my gosh. I found some weird comments on Mishima Kun's website. They were thanking us for resolving a quest that we didn't actually complete. Probably just a prank. But those requests are indeed resolved. Someone must be going into mementos other than us. I think it's Morgana. Agreed. He's probably taken the beauty thief with him too. We should look into this. I was thinking of persuading Okamura-san at school, but she's been avoiding me. How are we gonna look into this then? We'll stake out mementos. I wanna get home early, please. That'll depend on Monia and the beauty thief. The bet is indeed a classic one, but it is a safe bet. Yeah, I think it's better than just looking for them randomly. I'm gonna have all sorts of snacks. No teachers to stop me on this field trip. Well, why don't we get this over with? Let's do it tomorrow. Holy crap! Let's get over. Still more cutscene city? Oh gosh. Looking forward to see how I can build Haru with the chess club. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna see if the bathroom's free now. I will be right back. Really sorry about this.
Alright, back for real for reals. Hopefully I don't have to get up again for the rest of the stream. Ugh. Can I at least, like, watch a DVD? Why did I notice that something was bothering Morgana? Because Morgana never said anything to you. Damn it, I have to sleep. You should at least let me craft something in my room, gosh. I'm not even going that far away. Isn't it a little strange that Okumura is the top vote on the fan site? I mean, there are tons of other companies that do the same thing. Maybe they're signaling out for all of the praise he gets? There are, besides, there are a bunch of strange rumors starting to surface about his company. Oh, you mean like all that stuff happening to his competitors? Don't tell me you buy into that occult BS. I'm sure it's a coincidence. I'm wasting so much time not doing any personal stack growth. Hi! How's everyone doing? Worn out from your trip? Come on, you're young. Hawaii doesn't even count as going to a foreign country. It's full of Japanese tourists. I bet you were able to speak Japanese wherever you went, weren't you? The shopkeepers will use Japanese to pressure you into buying things as if their life depended on it. I'm used to it though, so I actually have both of them in English. Mr. Toast, show me how much you know your English. What's one of the supposed origins for the phrase, cat got your tongue? Wild cats who don't meow, cats eating human tongues, a breed of cat with no tongue? What? Is it cats eating human tongues? Cats eating human tongues, okay. I love your voice from Miss Chono. <laughs> I try to make her sound as gross and slimy as possible. Good. In ancient Egypt, it's said that the tongues of liars and blasphemers were cut out and fed to cats. It's also possible it came from the pirates' cat and nine tails, leaving a prisoner too stung to talk. There are actually a lot of other expressions involving cats. That is- that feels like a new question. I don't think it was an original P5. A cat has nine lives, for instance. That relates to how cats seem capable of surviving all kinds of dangers, even ones you expect to kill them. No Morgana to talk back to me. Thank goodness. He talks way too much. It's crazy how many people want to- blah, 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 Okumura, cool. I'm sorry, it's just their cell phone conversations and then our in-game cutscene conversations are exactly the same. You scared butt. You scared butt. Yeah, Yes, we do. Haru, hurry up and join my party so I could change you into a swimsuit. <laughs> Pat is still a nice and polite girl, even though she's like, You guys, what are you doing this for? You're not real phantom thieves. We don't need you. You're vi- no. I'm not saying you're vital, just please come back. What do you mean we weren't taking his feelings into consideration? We- We like hung out with him. He came everywhere with us. I guess if you used him in your party, he was in your party. Well, 
<laughs> oh my gosh, Duji, not the right words. Yes, you are a useless cat. You're stupid and annoying. Just get out of my life, please. Run into death and die, please. Like, you're begging us to chase after you. Just come back, you dummy. Ugh, I hate this. I hate this. This is the worst. There's no way to spin this part of the game to make it fun or interesting. Except for swimsuits. Cool. There he is. We need to go after him and talk things through. I hate you. I hate you so much. We are facing a car here. Does it not seem somewhat reckless to chase him on foot? You sure give up easy. There are dead ends all over this floor. We can do this if we manage to corner him in one. Nah, you know what? I'm just gonna admire my beautiful swimsuit children. Ugh, Yusuke, take off that hoodie, please. But he has such long legs. Oh, it's so beautiful. Gosh. Ugh. You're so stupid, you ran into a dead end, you couldn't get out, you dumb cat. <laughs> You're trapped now! <laughs> Naive, whoa, look out. What would you have done if he ran us over? Stop complaining and let's get after him again. Seriously, run into death. Survive his gunshot. You're so dumb, you ran into another dead end. We have reached him. Mona, will you listen? Shut up! I got nothing to talk about with you guys! Not again. There'll be no end at this rate. What was that? It came from up there. Let's go take a look. Oh no, he fell over. Tragedy. How did he crashed? Oi. Yep. Mona, are you okay? Wait, don't we make up today? Because we leave mementos and then a scene happens. I want sushi. Holy crap. I was just talking about a cutscene and I'm just like, fish. Raw fish. Holy crap. Oh, now I want some salmon sushi. Holy crap. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Hey, Artsy, how you doing? Thanks for joining. It's okay, this has nothing new. It's just the most annoying section of the game. I hate this. I just want this to be over with as soon as possible. Even worse. Yeah, go. Like, out of every single Persona game, this section has got to be the worst. At least Teddy had, like, an identity crisis. He was like, whoa, what am I? Like, I don't know where I belong. I don't know why I showed up here. Morgana's just like, you guys don't like me. Like, frack, shut up, Morgana. <gasps> One has an annoying sense, as I keep saying. Yeah, he's so annoying! Like, Morgana thinks he's all smart and cool, but he's pretty stupid. Teddy is just super annoying and stupid, and Kotomaru... Gosh. I didn't defend him! I don't like Mona that much! I mean, he is slightly better than Teddy. Because Morgana doesn't hit on every single girl. Oh, 
I'm here to save you. <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh my gosh, is Yoshi drowning in lava? The heck? He's so pretentious. Yes, Morgana is super pretentious. I don't even blame Ryuji. Again, I said this earlier, but Morgana kept saying, Oh, Ryuji, you're so dumb. Ryuji, you're such like... You're so horny, Yuji. Like, why don't you study? And Yuji never like really said anything back to him after like the first two times, because he was like, "Who you calling stupid?" But then after a while, he doesn't respond. He's just like, "Yeah, whatever." So, anyways, blah 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 blah. But Morgana keeps doing that to him, and then finally, Yuji's like, "Yo, shut up!" And Morgana's like, "Oh, okay. I guess I'm useless, and you don't need me." Bye. Like, you're annoying. <laughs> Yeah, I don't blame Ryuji at all. Because after a while, he stops making fun of Morgana too. He's like, I mean, once in a while, he'll just be like, You're a cat. But look at you! He is a cat in the real world, and Morgana's just like, No, I'm not! It's like, Then what the heck are you? Oh my gosh, you're so stupid, Morgana. Yuji defends himself more than a surprise to Pikachu face. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Also, oh my gosh, that is Yoshi drowning himself in lava. That is so funny, but morbid. Yuji actually respects Mona. He, like, Yuji, I feel like doesn't actively hate Mona. But yeah, Mona does not give him the respect back exactly. Every chance he got, he's just like, oh, Yuji, you're so dumb. Oh, Yuji, you didn't get that answer correct? Oh my gosh, Yuji, oh my gosh, you failed your exams, right? Like, oh my gosh. Back off, dude. Seriously, not all of this is about you, Morgana. Uh, you can leave if you want to. We're sticking together. Thank you, Yusuke. Exactly. It's not for you, it's for ourselves. I want to be able to hug a cat like that. そんな Haru's hair is so fluffy. Oh. I just want to touch it. Why is Yusuke the voice of reason despite his eccentric nature? Because he's he's gone through so much pain. So he knows how to be kind. Makoto is the smartest but isn't as reasonable like Yusuke. Because, mm, yeah, Makoto's book smart. She's not necessarily like street smart. I feel like she can sympathize but not empathize as much. I mean, Makoto did lose her parents, but she's had Sai to look after her. Yusuke was really like on his own. I feel like he, him and Futaba went through the most drama. Oh, actually, Yusuke didn't have too bad of a life growing up. He got to study art. 
I guess they all went through their own, like, periods of trauma, but I feel like Futaba had it the worst. Then, like... Hmm. Then it would be the three boys. And then I feel like it would be... Makoto and then on. Both he and Futaba are the most damaged. Yusuke was manipulated the most. Yeah, I Yusuke was manipulated the most. Futaba, like, had the whole guilt of her mom's death hanging over her most of her life. Yuji got looked down a lot, a lot because of his single mom and his dad wasn't that great. Joker had that whole, like, case against him, but that was so recent. He feel... And we don't know too much about his background life. And An has a pretty healthy family, it's just that her parents aren't around a lot. But I feel like she didn't really go through Kamoshida's predatory thing for too long. I expect great things. You better own up. Sucks that Joker's parents kicked him out, yeah. But again, that wasn't like... That wasn't a long time ago, it's recent. Endure. I don't care. I'm never using Morgana. Sleepover! No, everyone, stay here! Sleepover at my place! No, don't leave. Everyone sleep over, please. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse can I, can I read? Can I at least study? Damn! Oh my gosh, a cat came back today. I need to sleep. My body feels like a boulder slowly sinking into quicksand. You're fat, Morgana. <laughs> sleep with Bakuto. Oh, I wish I could, dude. Sandwiches! I am a chick magnet. Don't get any ideas. Don't let it worry you. Don't let it worry you. Don't worry about it. Morgana has been the worst. Oh yeah, he is the worst. Dude, her dad is gonna yell at her. I used to like him, but then this moment ruined him for me. <sighs> He's such a freaking drama queen. I. I don't like drama queens. Even if you are voiced by Pikachu, I don't like you. Holy crap! More cutscenes! Ah! できるな。私には自分が住む家さえ決めさせてもらえないのですね。帰りは遅いわ。挙句の果てに無断外泊まで。あんは、ちゅうな、ちゅうな、ちゅうな、ちゅうな、ちゅうな、ちゅうな、
Rudy had friends or teammates. Yeah, but then they hated him after um, Kamoshida kicked him out, broke his leg. And after that, they all turned on him. So what are we gonna do about Okumura? Stuff. Can I do things now? Please? Oh my god! Evening! I hate this. I hate it so much. Yep, we're all outcasts. In one way or another. She's so cute! That dress is so cute. October 11th! Oh, I love Makoto's outfit. She's so beautiful. Oh, yeah, I'm getting the Showtime. When do I get the next Showtime? Does Akechi count? No, he does not. ちょうど我が配達が次のターゲットでぐだぐだやってた頃だ。でも、回答団は動いてくれなくて、その時だった。モナちゃんと会ったのは運命だと思った。その時から決心していたの。回答団がやらないなら私がって。配人か。そして改
I want adult versions of every single persona. Like, I want to see where Takuya ended up. Wait, no, they mentioned Takuya in this game on the TV. Yeah, he's one of the the detective dudes. But I want to see everyone else too. People are starting with Sanakar. Mission start. Cool. Don't care. Alice, I want to see your face. Very direct, lady. Up, Takumi. Yusuke, not up. Ooh. Okay, well, I'm gonna do Chihaya for Yusuke. And I'm gonna go sell stuff and equip everyone. Hi. Uh... And a portrait reading. What a detective does. Never trust a detective. This is Persona after all. Some some detectives are good. Like Naoto is good. Affinity reading. Skin. Akihiko becomes a detective. Wait, does he become a detective or just police? But Akihiko's a good boy. Felix should have reached the other person. Yay! Deep in our friendship. Okay. Now... Airsoft shop. Yes, me again. I want to make a purchase. Sell all treasure. Oh wait, good thing I'm not going into mementos today. I'm gonna hang out with Yusuke because I didn't do the um... Money reading. A skidding knife? Oh, that sounds creepy. Okay, yep. Yuji, Yusuke, Akoto. Okay, by ranged weapon. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. And now, protectors. Big as Wait, why can't I? Oh, whoa. Wait, where did you stop? Why do we. Oops. No, the highest for me is Gigas. Wait, no, this is worse than what she has on them. Okay, never mind. Bye! Whoops, Yusuke's not there. After Makoto, the person on the have been less edgy. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, phrase, never trust a detective that doesn't join the party. Or that looks like get light Yigami. <laughs> so true. True words have not been spoken. Don't trust anyone that looks like light. Uh, let's hang out. Go down. How did your schedule look today? I wish for you to join me if possible. And I have Satanta. Nice. Hang out with him. Thanks for your concern. I would like to enter Mementos again today. I believe that place holds the truth of the human heart. Let us go. This place never fails to amaze me, no matter how many times you come. Where does this passage even go? It feels as though I'm being sucked inside merely by gazing upon it. This is the heart of man. It is ugly, yet beautiful as well. That duality is what makes humanity such an interesting subject. As you know, I have been confused recently about the reason for my art. Did I want to be recognized, or did I want to capture pure beauty? Was it due to my talent, or just my upbringing? Each answer would seem correct at first, yet only prove itself false upon a more in-depth examination. Jelly. When my mother was painting the Sayuri, what do you think she was thinking about? Her love for her son! Such love is almost embarrassing to have pointed out to me. But you're probably right. However, I believe that was not the only thing she thought about. It seems the Sayuri was meant to impart something to me, and to all others who view it for that matter. Love, regret, loneliness, anxiety, calm, and hope. All of the emotions my mother felt conveyed plainly to the viewer. That is why it was such a profoundly unique impact on those who see it. A painting's pale in comparison to such depth of meaning. 
How could I have hoped to convey pure beauty with my limited palette? And yet, that painting has kept me going this whole time. During particularly difficult nights, it was there to soothe my sadness. It acted almost as a ray of light, cutting through the somber darkness. I had wanted to create a similar beacon of hope for others, but it seems I lost sight of that goal. Look, this world is a dark, unrelenting place, Jelly. But that is why I'm going to wield my brush again, to give hope to all those who see my paintings. That's a great idea! You say that as though you had no relation to its inception, but you are the reason for this idea. Now, I'll use my art to paint over the blackness of this world. It shall become a vivid realm, full of hope. I expect it will be a most beautiful sight to behold. Perhaps you will see it someday, Jelly. Yay! I'm guilty for trusting him at the last second. <laughs> Gosh darn internet keeps lagging, I hate you Comcast. I'll burn Comcast. Oh man, Comcast sucks! But you know what's worse than Comcast? AT&T. Worst internet I ever had. Hmm, this radiant light growing is within me. It must be the light of hope. I should paint it. I can sense shadows in the area. We should leave Mementos. No, we shouldn't. We can take them on. I'm a strong boy. I really need to get Makoto up though. Oof. I still have AT&T. Oh, the worst, man. Oh. Call another son. On your way home? You clearly have time on your hands, Yusuke-kun. I'm on my way now to prepare for the competition. Speaking of which, do you plan on entering? Indeed I do. Your pride may not be too pleased with the outcome. After all, the winner's spot is not simply yours for the taking. I suppose whether you ultimately opt to enter is entirely of your decision, though. The more the merrier, yes? Ha 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 ha. winner's spot. Ah, oh, yes. I was hoping to prove my talent to him by taking the top prize home. That no longer matters to me, though. I'm going to enter my painting merely so others can be exposed to it. Well, I'll talk to you later, Jelly. Farewell. We have that brush and painted beautiful Nikki on first. Yes! I would love to see a painting of that. Because Ahn is a pretty girl. Please excuse me for messaging you so late in the evening. I truly apologize for what has happened in this case. So formal. He seems to be a particularly conscious person. Person. Kind of feels like that formality is putting some distance between us, though. We're teammates, Haru. But I'm the newest member. I need to act respectfully. We don't really pay mind to those kinds of things. Furthermore, you're already one of us. Thank you, Mako-chan. You mean me? Sorry, I think my fingers typed that subconsciously. I'm just so glad to have found a friend my age. Not a problem. That personal touch is actually refreshing. Great. I hope we get to be the bestest of friends, Makochan. Uh, sorry about that. I sort of got carried away. <laughs> Silly, DG. Speech today, that actor. I haven't done mementos yet. Calm down. Uh, Sojiro up. Oh yeah. Okay. Mishima. He for me. Oh, he for me. I'm sorry. I would love to do you, but I should do Sojiro first. Sojiro! Only a little, but it helps now that you've learned the ropes. Are you helping out today? Yes. Help them out. <laughs> I want to build an in real life jo Johanna, but that would cost so much money. I need to win the lottery. Holy crap! That would be awesome! Would it be able to transform too? Like, one would be the motorbike, and then you like slowly move it around so that it becomes her human form? That would be awesome. Okay, today we're gonna try brewing a cup of coffee from step one. Just listen to what I tell you. These beans are Colombian, a medium fine city roast. Oh, and don't let the water boil too much. We're gonna be fine. I'll be here the whole time. Uh. Not bad. Though I guess anyone can do something as simple as just brewing it. Making a blend, on the other hand, is a different story. Mixing beans at random won't do you any good. That's because the acidity and the flavor profile all depend on the bean ratio. Pretty deep, huh? Tell me more, that sounds tough. It all tastes the same to me. Mmm... I haven't really tasted a lot of different coffees. That sounds tough. Maybe, but you're just gonna have to take your time and memorize it all. Next up is the curry. There's something special about its flavor. The truth is, a scientific genius actually came up with the perfect spice combo to complement my coffee. Something about the quantification of taste. There's no formula for flavor, but it is pretty damn good. Anyhow, we don't make compromises when it comes to food service. Our stuff's gotta wow the customers. This is a tiny shop after all. Self-satisfaction is the only thing that keeps me going. Oh, excuse me. You. 
Haven't I already told you I don't have the money? Look at this place. You see many customers in here? Oh, no need to hide it, Sakura-san. You must have saved plenty from your time working in the government. Aren't you taking care of that employee right there, too? For nothing more than charity? I wish you'd show me the same kindness you show others. <sighs> You're not planning on buying anything. Can you please leave? I'm expecting a phone call, so I don't have time to chat with you. I don't mind if you take the call in front of me. I can talk to your little friend here in the meantime. So, should we keep talking until your call comes in? Or would that be too inconvenient for you? Well... Looks like Sojiro's in trouble. What should I do? Run for help, call Sojiro's phone, kick the man out. Call it. Oh, the call's here! Huh. That's the social services call I was waiting for. They come around pretty often to make sure this guy's not getting into any trouble. Want me to introduce you? Uh, that's right! I have some business I need to take care of myself. I'll come back later. Does he really have nothing better to do? I guess I should explain what's going on. He might try and drop by when I'm not around. That man is an old acquaintance of mine who's short on cash right now. But it's pretty friendly, yeah? Don't let him fool you. It's all an act. I have to say, though, I'm surprised you were quick-witted enough to pull that stuff off. You really saved me back there. Thanks. I feel like my bond with Sojiro is growing deeper. I'm high-key disappointed that Hifumi reclaimed her fantasy role from the concepts. Ugh. Yeah, I really wish we got to play as her. Keep me, I would love to do you. Perfect Toast 2020! <laughs> I don't have that kind of skill with bikes. <sighs> yeah, bikes are hard. When did Sojito give him the number? When did he give him the number? April, May? Oh yeah, when he's just like, um, hey, just in case, here's my number. I can make curry. I can't make it during the day when the cafe is open. Still, why do you poke around into other people's troubles? It's way easier to ignore them. I guess that's just the kind of person you are, though. That time already? I'd report to the cops if he wasn't related to her. Oh, uh, never mind that. Anyway, that's it for today. Go study or something after you close up. My kindness is growing. Hey, did you close up okay? <laughs> Sorry about today. Didn't mean to get you wrapped in my problems. Probably don't have to say it, but if that guy shows up while I'm out, just try to ignore him, okay? Just let him do his thing and get on with the job. Got it? Understood. Good. Whatever he says, just don't let it get to you. You're still under probation, so don't cause a scene, yeah? Alright, I'm trusting you on this. Later. <gasps> he trusts me! He's not a mean guy to me anymore! We poke because that's what heroes do. <laughs> I'm a man of the peoples. Yours. Let's grab a bite after school. I do have some Big Bang Burger coupons, but I probably shouldn't go there anymore, huh? Uh, no. I hear you'll have a psychotic breakdown if you eat there. I mean, haven't all of Okumura's enemies died in strange ways? Maybe he feeds them poisoned burgers. What a monster. You know, I voted for Okumura on the fan site. The fans of these have a duty to punish bad people. I hope they take care of him soon. I can return my book now. Oh good, Morgana didn't talk to me. Head to the palace, what are you doing, sir? <gasps> Maruki! First, let me return my library book. Return a book. I don't think there's a new book yet. Where is there a new book yet? Nope, no new book yet, okay. Maruki! Sorry to text out of the blue. There's something I'd really appreciate your insight on. I'd like to speak with you in the person about the specifics. Do you have some free time? We're gonna get closer. Uh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Before that, I want to do a... Okay, oh, sorry, An. I haven't hung out with you in so long. I'm so sorry. Before that, I want to make sure that the next time I see Yusuke, I'm definitely going to rank up, so oh, I'm going to do fortune reading. Affinity reading. Yeah. And then that'll be another social link done. Sunglasses! On my face! 
Yes, we can deepen our friendship. Cool. So the next time I see him, we'll definitely rank up. But for now, I'm going to hang out with Maruki. Let's talk with him. Thank you, you really are dependable. The thing is, this might get a bit complicated. And I'd rather not force you to walk home late, so maybe we should just talk at LeBlanc? Um, but you're heading there now. Thank you so much. Sorry for coming out over out of the blue. You must have had a real knock for coffee, Toskun. This is fantastic. Uh, you wanted to talk? Another cup? We got curry. We got curry, too. You can eat if you're hungry. I'd love to try some, but I think I'd better restrain myself for now. It's about the research we've been discussing. I'm actually putting it all together in a paper. It's been really progressing lately, thanks to no small part to you. But I feel like I've hit another wall. So I'm sorry to bother you, but I'd appreciate if you'd help me talk through this again. Uh, sure. Really? Thank you. You're really saving me here. In deepening our understanding of the heart, I wanted to find a means of helping those who have been hurt by traumas. I already told you that was the point of all my research, right? It's thanks to you that my project has come this far. That's the third time you set this dude. Come on, get to it. But because of all that progress, I've realized a problem. One that may not have any solution. Even if my research does make makes great strides, even if we do find some miraculous way of healing psychological wounds, with the way things are now, I can only save the people directly within my reach. Uh, You need more than that? True, I guess. It's better than not being able to save anyone, but I can't just be satisfied with that. I mean, there are so many people out there suffering so badly, they can't even speak up and let that pain out. This is a painful, cruel, bitter world, and there's only so much one individual can do to fight against that. I said it before, working as a counselor only makes that more painfully obvious. I think our current way of doing things just isn't enough. Deep down, I... I don't think it's enough that I can just help people around me. A few people out of billions? I want to help more people overcome their suffering. Pain can strike the heart in infinitely diverse ways. In turn, we have infinite methods by which we try to treat it. And like I said earlier, there are people who need help, desperately, but can't ask for it. They can't even share their pain. Even if we had a full understanding of the human heart and an effective treatment to soothe it, I don't think that would be enough to finally be trauma, and I guess that's what I ultimately realized. So what can we do? I haven't been able to get the question out of my head, but I don't have any answers. I'm not used to that. If we could peer into the hearts of every person alive, diagnose, understand, then remove the root cause of their pain, it sounds like something out of a dream. Uh, let me put it this way. Counseling takes time because you have to really listen to each individual person, right? I just think it'd be better if there was some way to really understand everyone's cognitions more quickly and accurately. Everyone's cognition? More importantly, what is this mementos? It's about time you start explaining. Mementos is everyone's palace. Think of it as a collective unconscious. No, never mind that. You wouldn't understand that. Then again, that'd be impossible. Maybe truly understanding all people's hearts is beyond human capability. Hmm? Post good. Did I say something wrong? All hearts share some things. What if they're connected? I like how Maruki is written kind of like a joker without the powers, with the ability to talk. <laughs> he definitely can talk a lot. Um, all hearts share some things. Yeah, everyone's basically the same. Huh? Yes, there are common factors. No, wait. You're right. My god, you're right. That's it, Toskun. The collective unconscious. If people's hearts are connected in the unconscious, their senses are shared subconsciously. What? Ah, so simple. Why didn't I realize it before? <laughs> yes, right, and if I can combine this with the theory I'm verifying, I can tie it all back to cognitive science too. Where is this coming from? Sorry, but I think you've just helped me make a big major breakthrough. I think this means something big for my cognitive science research. I need to hurry and get this down in my paper. I knew it'd be worth bringing it to you. Thank you, Toskun. I swear I'll repay you for this. Wow, my later answers did not help me rank up with him, so I'm gonna have to do uh, affinity reading with Chihaya for him. Well, I need to get going. See you! Also, he's like- oh wait, whoops, he's calling me. Oh, Toskun. Sorry for rushing out. So suddenly, earlier. 
heavy breathing pervert ah! oh my gosh what's going on calm down i would never really say this to him i would say what's going on sorry i ended up running to the station under sheer adrenaline didn't realize i was just out of shape though anyhow you helped me come to a major realization the answer was right in front of me and i couldn't see it all i need to do now is focus on my paper after all your help, I'm going to finish it for your sake, too. Seriously, thank you. Bye! He's available a lot this week. Ooh. Wait, what was I gonna say about Maruki? Oh yeah, he's like, oh man, I feel so useless because as a counselor, I can only reach, like, the people right here. Close to me. And I'm like, yeah, that's why there's more counselors. And that's why you should train more people to be counselors. To, you know, help more people. But he's just like, I want to do this myself. I want to help everyone. It's just like, eh. So Mishima ranks up, but what is his next skill? Fanboy. Greatly experiences. Okay. Mishima, let's go. Because I gotta go to Mementos soon, so we shall hang out with you. Me cafe! I'll do Mishima first, it's only Tuesday. <laughs> so amazing, Fantasy's Reaver has run rampant. The fan site's blowing up! You did the request I asked you to do. Thanks! So I've been researching that actor and I came across some substantial new info. Are you free to hear what I found? Hang out. Yes. Thanks, let's head to the diner then. Anosa. So you know that actor I suggested as your deck target? Apparently he's marrying the idol from those rumors. Oh, he just couldn't live with himself after what he did to her. His reputation did a total 180 after he announced the marriage though. People used to hate him, but now all everyone wants to talk about is how sweet and manly he is. At any rate, we can't oppose the will of the public. Good thing we decided not to change his heart. Support for the Phantom Thieves would have really dropped if we had. We need to make sure our next target is one we can win against. What exactly will we win? <laughs> Proof! Proof that we're the ones doing the right thing. Oh, by the way, I came up with a new plan of attack. We really want to make you guys famous. We need to do more than just answer promising requests. Right now, there are tons of idiots out there doubting you and trying to influence others to do the same. So, we're gonna purge them. You really need to chill. Purge? No, 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 no. Sorry about that. Purge is a pretty disturbing word, huh? There's not really any better way to phrase it, though. The truth is, I looked up some of these idiots who are criticizing you and sent them warning messages. You know, something like, if you don't change your wicked ways, you'll be our next target. That is threatening. I'll have you know, it's been totally working wonders. They totally stopped dis dissing the pea thieves. There are still some people who say they don't believe, but deep down they're just afraid of you guys. <laughs> Isn't this great? Plus, now that all those haters are gone, people are putting a bunch more info on the forum. Post after post after post. It's all please and help me. <laughs> this is so much fun. What the freak is wrong with you? You're worrying me. All I did is find my own way to change people's hearts. I'm above the simple stuff like producing and advertising now. I can change the world. I have the strength to do that now. Oh. Eh? Oh. Akiyama-kun. Yo, Mishima. I haven't seen you since graduation. <laughs> we actually saw each other here not that long ago. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Oh. Akiyama-kun. What? You okay? What do you mean? Does it look like I ain't okay? I don't know, you just seem quiet. Shut your mouth, Zero. I don't got time to be listening to you. Zero. He acts like I'm a total nothing. But he still takes time to try and mess with me. Change though. I'm way better than a loser like him. I've even heard he's been hanging out with some shady people. They're all scum. I wish we could change their hearts for the good of our society. Oh. Wait, that's it. We can change his heart instead of the actors. All right, it's decided. Your next target is going to be Akiyama-kun. Let's see, where's his info? Um, speaking of targets. Are you guys gonna come after me someday too? Are you feeling guilty? 
Do you know that you're doing something wrong? You're really considering it? <sighs> Good joke, Toast. Anyway, I'm heading home. I'll send you Akiyama's kun's info later. Wait! We didn't rank up! Mishima's trying to push a target onto us to advance his own agenda. I should discuss this with the others. We didn't rank up! The freak! Mishima the phantom simp? Yeah, he is. Mishima gets really annoying around this point. Yeah, he does. He just wants us to get revenge on a guy who made fun of him. Didn't he give us a month of we request too? Something about that handsome actor? Is Mishima Kun trying to take advantage of us? Apparently, he also threatened anyone who dares speak ill of defend of these on his forum. Perhaps we should enact a change of heart on Mishima, not this Akiyama fellow. Whoa, wait up. He ain't that bad. Hmm, I guess we could find out what's happening if we manage to find a shadow. I mean, he's already worried that we're gonna change his heart, right? We'll probably be able to track down his shadow in Mementos. All things considered, I think our best course of action would be to defeat it and change his heart. Mm. Ishima-kun, it feels almost wrong to consider such an option. Mm. Can't have him causing problems for us, though. Either way, we can decide whether or not we want to change his heart. Later. For now, we must meet his shadow. Let's go! Yeah, let's head into the Mentos and track down Mishima's shadow. No, I'm not done yet. <laughs> Gotta deal with his shadow now. And... Oh, damn, you got Last of Us 2?! I can't wait to see everyone's reactions, and I can't wait to see the story. Man. Who are you? Could you be... Phantom Thieves? <laughs> so you want to change my heart, even after everything I've done for you guys? Me? Of all people? If you just shut up and listen to what I told you, the Phantom Thieves would get even more famous. And if you did that, I'd get some... Uh, I can't talk. I'd get some of the spotlight too. I wouldn't be just some stupid zero anymore. There's finally some hope back in my life. So why? Why are you so insistent on stopping me? Yo, losers. Get out of here. I want to talk to your leader alone. What the fuck do? This is all your fault. Before you came along, I knew my role in life. I was supposed to be the guy everyone messed with. I'd accepted that I was a zero, embraced it even. But once I figured out you were the one of the Phantom Thieves, everything changed. You just had to get close to me. I I did not choose to get close to you. You came to me first, dude. I mean, seeing a real-life hero do all this amazing stuff made me wish I could be something more. I want to change society too. I want the world to notice me. If I could just make the Phantom Thieves famous, maybe I'll end up famous too. You're writing our coattails. Can you really blame me? Look at how boring I am! But you guys, you're special. You have the ability to change people, to change the world! In the end, that's why I need you guys. You're the only way I'll be able to make a name for myself. I know it's wrong. But if I can't push my way into the spotlight now, when will I? Anyway, just bring it on already. You're here to fight, aren't you? What? You aren't, to, you aren't going to change my heart? Do it yourself, we're leaving, there's no need. Yourself. No. Come on, let's go. I'm sure he learned something if he's been spending all this time with us amazing heroes, yeah? No! I need the Phantom Thieves. I need to be famous. I need to... I... You know, life exists after high school. You still have a whole lot of life... left. I don't know about Last of Us 2 after all the crap the creative director said. What did he say? I totally did not look up any info after seeing the um, E3 2018 trailer. Mishima as Phantom Thief DLC? Hells no. I'd rather have Hifumi as Phantom Thief DLC, man. So the play that this Czech playwright wrote. What do you, blah, blah, blah. What do you think the Phantom Thieves are going to do about Okunbura? It's an important work in the history of literature for being the first to use the word robot. Duh, make him have a change of heart. These corrupt corporations just go bankrupt. Hey, you're in class right now. Quit talking about Okumura and the Phantom Thieves. Jeez, Toast-kun, you were listening at least, right? Robot comes from a word in Czech. Where in Europe is the Czech Republic located? Uh, 
I want to see... Southwest. Nope, central. <laughs> ah. The leaks are real, apparently. I don't know anything, but they're real. People are upset. I did not look up any of the leaks. Once people were like, oh no, leaks are there. I was just like, well, I'm staying away from social media. Staying away from those tags. It's like, what are people... What are people's social media feeds that they immediately see the leaks? That's right. The Czech Republic is in the center of Europe. The word robot comes from the Czech word robota. Robota? Robota actually means slave labor. Twitter, Reddit, Twitter. I mean, I went on Twitter and once I saw Last of Us, I was like, I'm not clicking on this. Also, I guess I don't really follow that many gaming news websites, so I was allowed to, like, that helped me steer clear. I don't really use Reddit, so I also did not see any info. Existing only for slave labor. Even from the origin of their name, robots are pitiful. Well, you could argue we're not too different ourselves, having to keep working in order to live. Alkami seems tired. But anyhow, if Okamura doesn't see others as people, we need to change his heart. I don't use either. Good. Stay away. I mostly started Twitter to just to like have a place to update my stream schedules. But yeah. What's the plan? What are you doing today? Do you have plans today? Thank you for earlier. Frack! Maruki! Oh! I'll still go up with Maruki. Okay, so he didn't really mind my answers. What about Takemi? Um Kasumi. I want to do a fortune reading on Akechi just in case, because I feel like I need extra points of that. Watch first four hours of game this morning. Oh damn! I only saw the first two. Facebook and Insta are my main problem. I stopped using Facebook too. Oof. Barely social media, so I'm pretty much safe. Nice. Uh, Akechi. No wait, did I need Makoto? I think I needed Makoto. Whoops. Yeah, I'm gonna need Makoto. Just remember dreadful about Persona games? There's no typer, I think. What's dreadful about Persona games? It's pretty much almost every day. Ooh. Well then, time to just jack him up. Yes. I'm gonna rank up with Makoto, so now I'm gonna hang out with Maru. Thanks so much for the other day. I feel like our discussions really will help me make some strides in our research. Do you think I could get your help today as well? Yes. We'll see him. Thank you! Looking forward to see you at the nurse's office. Oh, what's... What did you remember about something dreadful about Persona games? There... Are there any anime you're waiting to come out? I'm waiting for Overlord 4 and Shield Hero 2. Um... I mean, nothing for the rest of this year because Haikyuu and Boku no Hero are pretty much done. Um... I stopped watching Chihaya Furu. Uh, I've been meaning to start Kimetsu no Yaiba. Um, what else is there? There's no time to socialize with anyone. Yep, no time to socialize. Uh, man, I've been meaning to watch Shield Hero, but I read the manga. And I've been waiting for the chapters to come out. But maybe I should watch it too. It looks pretty good. I've always wanted to watch Chihaya Furu. Oh man! It is... It's shoujo, but it doesn't delve too much into the romance. But sometimes I wish they would, because it's like, I want two characters to get together. But they're not getting together, and I'm just like, please! End my misery. But it's very pretty. Well, let's get started. For today's topic, let's see. I'd like to hear your opinion on these phantom thieves of hearts. Where are the cookies? The ones who steal the desires of criminals and reportedly force them to confess. Maybe it's a little hard to believe, but I guess I've taken an academic interest in them. Uh, you really are dedicated. Dude. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's just a gut feeling I have. But I get the feeling the phantom thieves work and my own research are rooted in the same principles. That's why I've decided to analyze them from my own perspective. For example, there's the matter of their methods. According to those calling cards they send out, they state a method is steal your desires. How is such a feat even possible? Any ideas, Toskun? Hmm, no idea. As in removing them. 
What do you think? A question for a question, huh? That's unusual for you. But let's see. I suppose it'd be possible if there was some material proxy for those desires. Yeah. Toskun, do you remember that story with the cookies? In that experiment, the desire for the cookies actually changed the way people tasted them. I think we can look at this in the same way. They're not something so easily perceived, but desires have a tremendous effect on our cognition. Put another way, if that desire is gone, your cognitive perception of the cookies skews back to normal. So, does that remind you of anything? Huh? Change of heart? Mm. That's right, the phantom D's own change of heart. That's the basis of my theory. Their theft of desire is not metaphorical, but something more direct. We still don't know exactly how they steal the desires, of course. But if this idea of physical, tangible desires can be actualized, I think it logically follow that they can be taken away. In a world of intangibles, let's say a world composed of the contents of people's hearts. Well, they're thieves, so if they could perceive a world like that, they could steal desires like any other treasure. Hey, Toskun, you think I'm getting anywhere here? You're actually very close. It's intriguing. You think so too, Toskun? If it's actually anywhere close to the truth, it'd be incredible. You actually hit the nail on the head, dude. Then again, we'll probably never know for sure unless we could ask one of the Phantom Thieves ourselves. Hmm, I think I can construct a solid hypothesis now. It feels like I'm just one step away from finishing this paper. Thank you, Toskun. I can sense Spider Geese, blah 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 blah. Oh yeah, it is more Jose. Whoops, not Jojo. Demon Slayer is top tier. Yeah, I've been meaning to watch it. Oof. I've been considering starting Monogatari, but it seems like a very out there. Which Monogatari? There's a ton of Monogatari's. Don't think Akachi available for a while? Well, frack. Now today's mental training technique. How about something like this? Wait, he didn't teach me mental training last time. Yes. Excuse you, sir. Oh, and here. Never a bad time for a snack, right? Hey, Phantom Wafers. I want mac and cheese, but it's kind of late to make mac and cheese. Shoki practice, housekeeping service. Akachi! <laughs> okay, I'll hang out with him, and then that'll be it for the night. Uh, so, darts and billiards. No, please don't lag on me now! It's Akachi time! Has anyone seen the harem anime Shuffle? I heard of Shuffle! I have not seen it. Why, is it good? Hmm. You, post, you suppose the wall is green because it's supposed to look like mountains? Actually, never mind. There wouldn't be anything to represent the sea or sky. What are you talking about? Oh, the outdoor shop. Never mind. Talk to Akichi. Yeah. Hey, Toskun. Good evening. I actually have quite a bit to do. I'm waiting for someone right now, in fact. I'll let you know once I have a little more time. Until then, our battles will have to wait. What? The Lies! Then you're not available! What the heck? Why would you... Gabe, why would you lie to me? They lied! It says up, but what the f- mm. Well then, I'ma go to the jazz club and see what move they have. The game should not be trusted more than I could just damn it. They tricked me! How dare they trick me! I'm bored. Soul teeny. Let's take your soul. Let your soul open up with this cocktail and take yourself to the next level. What does that mean? The game is a true traitor. Lag. The real trickster. Um. I can't do the temple at night. I should go see the temple eventually. Can I take the girls out? The twins. Do I have any more city armor? Oh, I do! Not that much, but hey, it gives me money. Exactly real bad, I'm a go. Okay! Night, so! Thanks for joining! Auto level up for a character, seems like. Well, then I guess I'll hang out with the twins. Go. Time to name the location. 
Justine, you do the honors. Listen closely. The place we wish to evaluate for rehabilitation is... Where one offers up faith and words of devotion. Every day, the lost sheep flock there to pray. There are even cases where individuals will confess to crimes. Confessing one's crimes due to fear of divine punishment. This has a familiar ring to our own inmates' rehabilitation. Does such a location sound familiar to you? Well, if you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. It is the church. So what'll it be? In the church? Oh, so it's called the church. Let's witness the so-called faith that humans offer with our own two eyes. Let us head there with me. Now. So this is where one prays to the gods in your world? The peaceful atmosphere here is the antithesis of a prison cell. Hmm? Is that man standing there one of the gods? He's a priest. Oh, so a servant to the gods. That explains why I don't sense any exceptional abilities in him. What is that over there? A smaller room? I know. It's an iron maiden for reforming criminals, right? Whoever goes inside and fails rehabilitation gets skewered. It's a confess it's a confession booth. Confession booth? You mean this tiny box is where the crimes are confessed? Is something the matter? Hey you! We're here for the confession booth deal you have going here. Oh, you seek to confess? At such a young age? Alright, which one of you would like to go first? Which of us? You intend to split us up and pick us off one by one? Hm, no such luck. We're both going in. Um, I see. You're free to do so, but there really isn't much room inside. Are you attempting some sort of deceptive practice by calling yourself a servant of the gods? You what? Listen to people's concerns. This isn't a form of rehabilitation. Regardless, such talk is cheap, but pays quite well. We shall undertake this confession and ascertain the truth for ourselves. Then, uh, as for your confession... Hmm, what to confess? It's probably unkind to kick the inmate, but it's part of my duties as warden, so that can't be held against me. Hey, Warden? This is none of your business. We're speaking to the gods right now. Recently, I've been shifting my more mundane bookkeeping responsibilities onto Carolyn. You what? I knew my workload was feeling larger for some reason. But she made so many mistakes in her work that I regret not doing it myself. Huh? Of course I'd made mistakes when I nearly twice the work! How about yourself, Carolyn? Don't you have anything you'd like to confess while we're here? Uh, huh? Like, what? I know you went all out and ate Menchi Katsu all by yourself. Did you really think you could escape my notice? Er, I was curious about the line. Like, what could humans want so badly that they would stand in place for so long? <sighs> Megidolo. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Confession time is over. We're done here. Odd as it may be, I actually feel quite refreshed. Were it not for this opportunity, we would likely have kept these matters locked away deep in our hearts. Have you righted your wrongs? Did you learn kind of... What sin are you guilty of? Mmm... I wouldn't ask them this. That's kind of weird. Have you righted your wrongs? Because that's what you do in a confession. That's your job, inmate. Know your place. By the way, why do humans pray to gods? Shouldn't they be spending that time trying to solve their problems themselves? Humans have their limitations. It's a kind of support. Sometimes it's all you can do. It's a kind of support. Have you given up on taking care of your own issues? Perhaps you're the one who needs a change of heart. No matter. We've come to learn how these places of worship work firsthand. We'll consider this assignment complete. Here's your reward. Samurai Karm! Holy crap! <laughs> you know, confessions seem like they'd be rather useful in your re rehabilitation. You ought to confess to us every day. Put that out of your mind, Carolyn. Once we return, you're going to tell me all about your experience eating you know what. No, what? But I've already confessed! Not enough, you haven't. Take us back now, inmate. Escort the twins back to the velvet room. Carolyn is foodie confirmed. I want Katsu. Yeah. Who could that be at this hour? My electric fan at home has gotten so old and noisy. I can't focus on my shogi studies at all. At this point, I might as well just get an air conditioner. However, I'm not really familiar with home appliances, so I'd like you to ask for help. I'm going to Akihabara tomorrow, so would you accompany me? It's Thursday. You respond right away to a confidant's invitation without putting it on hold your relationship with Deepin. 
immediately responds to the message. Your schedule for that day will be filled, and you'll be unable to do anything else for that day. Be sure to consider an invitation before you commit to it. Ah oh, man, if we had so much potential, she did. Um, normally I'd go after her, but I want to see if anyone else is available. So I'm sorry. Respond later. Don't forget to respond, okay? I'm sorry. If me event has a few people in it. Frack! I should have responded. Nah. Uh, are we going in today? Then maybe I can. If um if other people show up. Damn it, I should have just responded to her because no one else is available. But I guess I could just do mementos too. Well, either way, I'm gonna stop here for now. It's getting late and I should eat a little bit of food. Okay, so I won't stream tomorrow. So yeah, I'll just pick this back up on Monday. Hopefully, internet does not get slow. Hopefully, I'm not feeling tired or sick or anything. And I'll just stream like normal on Monday. Yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Stay toasty. Have a good night, everyone. And have a good weekend. Bye-bye.